everybody, my name is Miss Bree. Today we're gonna to be learning all about measurement. So I've created a very fun lesson for us, um, all about measurement. If you've tuned into my lessons, you know that we've been talking all about non-standard um, types of measurement. We've been talking about um, um, standard units of measure. And today we're going to be touching base on all of that fun stuff and you're going to become pros at measuring the length of an object with non-standard measuring tools to better understand what measurement is. So right now I would like you to gather about one to two pieces of paper, a pencil, and a type of coloring tool like a, um, markers, crayons, colored pencils, Whatever you like to color with, you just need to grab one of those items. So go ahead and pause this video, come back and join us when you have your materials, and let's get started. So we're going to count. Um, first, we're going to identify what it is that we're measuring. So what is this object here that we are measuring? This one right here. I see a bone. Do you see a bone? That's what we're gonna call it. So we have a strip here of ladybugs, okay? There is 18 ladybugs and I know that because I counted it. So we have one, two, we always start from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our strip is 18 ladybugs long, right? So we are measuring the length. Length is how long something is. Um, when we want to count now how long this um, bone is, we are going to start at the very beginning. We always start from left to right. We start at the very beginning. So this first circle here, I circled. We're going to count now where my bone stops. That is where your ladybug stops, okay? So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here we can say, write number one on your paper, just like this, and write the bone. So we're going to write the bone is just like this the bone is we counted eight so we're going to write the number eight ladybugs long right because length is how long something is so i'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can see what i wrote so the bone is eight ladybugs long Right, so it is very important to write these sentences um, so you can remember and learn how to write um, the bone is eight ladybugs long. Remember, length is how long an object is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you again. So we're gonna go ahead and move on um, to the same thing. So, We're going to now count how long, we are going to count how long our next object is. So here we have a pencil. So we're, we know we're going to be identifying how long our pencil is. If you remember, we know we start here at the very beginning. So, while I'm getting this set up, we are going to count first at the very beginning. I'm gonna share my screen with you one more time. We are going to count, we're gonna start here, our ladybug number one, and we're gonna count till the very end. Once your pencil stops, you stop counting the ladybugs. So we have one two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. My pencil went all the way to the number eighteen. So I will circle that here for you. So we can say for number two, the pencil, just like this, the pencil is 18 ladybugs long, right? The pencil is 18 ladybugs long. So our non-standard measuring tool that we are referring to is going to be ladybugs, okay? And it is, we are measuring the length. So we are saying that it is 18 ladybugs long. Go ahead and write number three under number two. So we have one, two, three, and stay tuned for our next activity, our next object that we're going to measure. So where do we start? The first ladybug, right? Our shark starts here. All right, I know I'm going to be measuring a shark, so let's go ahead and write the shark on number three. Right, the shark is, I will leave that up here for a second. The shark is, hmm, how many ladybugs long? Let's count. Remember, we start here at the very beginning of the shark. We're gonna, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, and we can say we're gonna go right here to number 12. Do I keep going? Oh, no, I don't, because there's no more of the shark's body here. So by telling me that the shark's tail stops right here at the 12th ladybug, I know that my shark is 12 ladybugs long. All right, so I know the shark is 12 ladybugs long. Go ahead and write this. The shark is 12 ladybugs long. Go ahead and write a number four right here to get set up for your next question. So now we are on to our next slide. We have, we are going to be measuring with blocks this time. Oh, my images are not appearing. Let me pause this and get this figured out. Okay, so I'm back. Um, thank you for being so patient. So we are going to share my screen with you again. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna now count for number four, we're gonna count how many blocks long our pencil is. So let's go ahead and figure out, hmm, well, I'm going to start here at the very end or do I start at the very beginning? We start always at the very beginning. So where my eraser is, we're gonna start counting the blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? My pencil stopped. So we can say the pencil is six blocks long, just like this. Number four, the pencil is six blocks long. So what I am measuring is the pencil. My measuring tool that we use is blocks and we are measuring how long it is. So keep that in mind for these next couple examples, we are gonna be measuring with blocks.
Okay, so my first measuring tool that we used the first time was ladybugs. Now we are going to be measuring with blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline blocks. So we know that is the measuring tool that we're using. Go ahead and write number five on your paper next. And I'm gonna share my screen with you again and finish doing our fun activities. So now number two, or I'm sorry, number five. So we're going to start now at the very beginning, right, where our eraser is, and we're going to count from left to right. So I want you guys to try counting out loud with me, please. So the pencil, let's write our sentence. The pencil is, hmm, let's find out how long it is. One, two, three, and stop. Four blocks long. Okay, the pencil is four blocks long. All right, let's go ahead and do number six. So we know we're measuring a pencil again, so we're gonna start our sentence off with saying the pencil is always, we always state what we're measuring. The pencil is, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Do I keep going? There's more pencil, so I keep going. Six, seven, eight blocks long. Right? So we're going to write blocks long. The pencil is eight blocks long. All right, we are on to, oh, so this one, so things to keep in mind, right? So first you wanna identify what it is that you're measuring. So we started off measuring sharks, we had bones, we had a pencil that we measured, and then next you wanna identify, well, what is the non-standard unit of measure that we're using for this? Is it going to be ladybugs? Is it going to be blocks? Stay tuned for another non-standard measuring tool that you're gonna be um, measuring with next. So I'm going to, of course, be doing this along with you, but now it's your turn, okay? So I left um, our sentence blank. So first, let's identify what it is that we are measuring. So the question is saying, how many blank long is this, right? So how many blocks long is this, right? So we're gonna write blocks long is this, and then we're going to say, hmm, well, what is it that we're measuring? The ice cream. Let's write ice cream. All right, so we can say for number seven, right, the ice cream, we can say ice cream cone to be more specific. specific. The ice cream cone is, well, let's figure out, the ice cream cone is, let's see how many blocks long it is, where do we start, friends? Do we start all the way up here and go one, two, three? No, we don't. We go from the very bottom. Wherever our cone starts, we count up, and then when we see our cone end, we stop, or our ice cream end, we stop. So we're gonna count one, two, three, and stop, four. So our ice cream cone is four blocks long. I will stop sharing that so you can see. The ice cream cone is four blocks long.
All right, so we know that we are measuring the ice cream cone and we know our unit of measure is the blocks. Go ahead and write number eight now. Now I'm gonna share my screen with you again. So now your turn again. How many blank? So how many, hmm, how many blocks long is this ice cream cone? Hmm, let's figure that one out. Let's count. Do you remember where we start? Is it all the way up here where there's nothing to measure? Or do we start at the very beginning where there's something to measure? We start here where there is something to measure, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can say the ice cream cone is six blocks long. All right, and I will stop sharing that with you guys again. So the ice cream cone is six blocks long. So we know ice cream is the object we are measuring, and we're going to specify how many units long, how many blocks long our ice cream cone was. So our ice cream cone was six blocks long. Go ahead and write a number nine under number eight, and this is our last one to measure. So your turn, how many, what do we write here? How many blocks long is this ice cream cone? Right? How many blocks long is this ice cream cone? Hmm. Try thinking in your head where we start. I'm going to do this one alongside you, but this time I'm not going to say it out loud. I would like for you guys to figure out how to start your sentence. So identify what it is that we are measuring. Write that down in your sentence and also write down how long it is, right? So let's start from what? The very bottom. So, so far we can say the ice cream cone is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a cherry on top nine blocks, what? Nine blocks long, right? Because we are measuring the length. Boys and girls, you've done such a fabulous job if you've been tuning into this lesson. I hope that you've enjoyed it thus far. We're gonna continue working and becoming pros at um, measurement. So before we um, end our lesson, I wanted to ask you guys a couple of questions. So what did we measure the length of? Hmm, what were those objects that we measured the length of? Well, I have written down on my paper, all of the objects are down, they are written in the first part of our sentence. So in case you forgot, just go ahead and back and look. So we measured a bone, a pencil, a shark, another pencil, and ice cream. So we measured five objects. What is, what does the word long mean? What are we measuring? Are we measuring the width of the object or the length of the object? We're measuring how long something is. So we are measuring the length, right? The length is the longest part of the object. So did we achieve our objective? We sure did. Today, you are, be, you are able to become pros at measuring the length of an object using non-standard measuring tools. 
I hope you were able to understand how to measure those non-standard um, with those non-standard measuring tools. If you're up for a challenge for some little homework or a side activity at home, I challenge you to try measuring the length of an object in your house using another type of non-standard measuring tool. So maybe go find a household item in your kitchen, like toothpicks, something fun, crackers. Those are all examples of non-standard measuring tools. I hope you enjoyed my lesson. I had so much fun teaching it. See you next time. Bye.